Hello, in this video I will tell you about the importance of intestinal health and 10 healthy foods that strengthen intestinal health. What does your gut health have to do with your mood? What effect does your gut have on other systems of your body? What should you do to protect your gut health? You can find the answers to these questions and more in this video. Intestinal health is very important for the overall health and immunity of our body. About 100 trillion bacteria live in our intestines, and 80% of them affect our immune system. These bacteria affect our digestion, nutrient absorption, hormone balance and mood. According to a study, people with poor gut health have a 60% higher risk of depression. For this reason, we should pay attention to our nutrition to protect our gut health. So what foods should we take for our gut health? Here are 10 healthy food suggestions that improve gut integrity. Kefir, the intake of products containing friendly bacteria such as kefir prevents the reabsorption of toxic substances by regulating the intestinal microbiota. You can have one cup, about 200 milliliters, of unsweetened kefir per day. If you are experiencing gas and bloating problems, you can try lactose-free kefir. Yogurt, yogurt is also a food rich in friendly bacteria. It strengthens the intestinal flora, facilitates digestion and improves immunity. Take care to take one to two bowls of yogurt a day. Prefer homemade yogurt or additive-free yogurt. Probiotic sauerkraut. Probiotic sauerkraut obtained by fermentation of cabbage helps the proliferation of beneficial bacteria in the intestines. It also contains vitamin C, fiber and antioxidants. You can eat 2 to 3 tablespoons of probiotic sauerkraut with your meals. Artichoke. Artichoke is a fibrous vegetable called prebiotic that helps feed the friendly bacteria in the gut. It also supports liver functions and lowers cholesterol. Try to eat artichokes 1 to 2 times a week. Chicory root. Chicory root is also prebiotic and increases beneficial bacteria in the gut. It also helps to digest fats by increasing bile secretion. You can brew chicory root as a tea or add it to salads. Apple. Apples are rich in both fiber and pectin. Fiber regulates bowel movements and prevents constipation. Pectin, on the other hand, helps to remove harmful substances by forming a gel-like substance in the intestines. Eating one apple a day will be beneficial for your intestinal balance. Legumes. Legumes such as chickpeas, lentils and beans are also rich in fiber and increase bowel movements. It also contains nutrients such as protein, iron, folic acid and balances blood sugar. You can have legumes or salad two to three times a week. Avocado. Avocados are also rich in fiber and healthy fats. Fiber regulates the digestive system and prevents constipation. Healthy fats help protect the intestinal wall. You can add avocado to salads or make smoothies. Pineapple. Pineapple contains an enzyme called bromelain. Bromelain relaxes the digestive system by breaking down proteins. In addition, pineapple is rich in minerals such as vitamin C, potassium, iron and zinc. You can eat pineapple as a fruit or drink its juice. Licorice. The extract of licorice root is a useful herb. It helps cleanse the intestines and colon and promotes normal bowel movements. In addition, it provides much easier defecation as it supports liver functions. Drinking a glass of licorice tea will be good for the digestive system. Until this part of the video, I told you about the importance of intestinal health and 10 healthy foods that strengthen intestinal health. I hope it was useful. Remember that a healthy gut means a healthy body. Include these foods in your diet to protect your gut health and drink plenty of water, exercise regularly, stay away from stress and improve your sleep quality. Now I will tell you about some common intestinal diseases. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. In this syndrome, intestinal motility is impaired and causes symptoms such as abdominal cramps, flatus, distension, constipation or diarrhea. The exact cause of IBS is unknown, but tension, certain foods, or hormonal fluctuations can trigger it. IBS treatment is individually tailored and may include dietary habits, medications, or mental therapy. Inflammatory bowel disease IBD. In this disease, the tissues in the intestine become inflamed and ulcerated. The two most common types of IBD are Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. The exact cause of IBD is unknown, but genetic factors or abnormal reactions of the immune system may play a role. IBD treatment usually includes pharmacological agents or surgical intervention. Symptoms of intestinal obstruction. For example, people with intestinal obstruction may experience symptoms such as abdominal pain, vomiting, bloating, constipation or diarrhea. Methods such as physical examination, blood tests, x-ray or colonoscopy can be used to diagnose intestinal obstruction. Intestinal obstruction treatment, on the other hand, varies depending on why the intestine is blocked. 
In some cases, medications or enemas may be sufficient, while in some cases, surgical intervention may be required. Bowel cancer is a disease that results from the growth and proliferation of abnormal cells in the intestine. The cause of bowel cancer is not known exactly, but there are risk factors such as age, genetic factors, dietary habits, smoking and alcohol use. Bowel cancer is curable if detected early. Methods such as stool test, colonoscopy or biopsy can be used for the diagnosis of bowel cancer. Bowel cancer treatment depends on the stage and type of cancer. Methods such as surgery, chemotherapy or radiotherapy can be applied. Small bowel obstruction is a condition that results from narrowing or blockage of part of the small intestine. Causes of small bowel obstruction include intestinal folding, invagination, intestinal knotting, volvulus, tumors or foreign bodies in the intestine. People with small bowel obstruction may experience symptoms such as abdominal pain, vomiting, bloating, constipation or diarrhea. Methods such as physical examination, blood tests, x-ray or tomography can be used to diagnose small bowel obstruction. Treatment for small bowel obstruction varies depending on why the bowel is blocked. In some cases, medications or enemas may be sufficient, while in some cases, surgical intervention may be required. Irritable Bowel Syndrome Diet People with Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS, need to be mindful of their diet. Certain foods can trigger or aggravate IBS symptoms. These foods can vary from person to person, but often foods such as sugar, alcohol, processed foods, gluten, caffeine can be problematic. People with IBS are advised to limit or eliminate these foods. It may also be beneficial to consume fibrous foods, probiotic foods and plenty of water. IBS treatment. IBS treatment is tailored to the individual and varies depending on the severity and type of symptoms. Treatment of IBS often uses methods such as dietary changes, medications, or psychotherapy. If the symptoms cannot be controlled with dietary changes or if they affect the quality of life, drug treatment can be applied. Medications such as antispasmodics, laxatives, antidiarrheal drugs or antidepressants can be used in drug therapy. Psychotherapy, on the other hand, can help people with IBS cope with stress and manage symptoms. In this video, I gave you information about the importance of intestinal health, 10 healthy foods that strengthen intestinal health, and some common intestinal diseases. I hope it was useful. Remember that a healthy gut means a healthy body. Include these foods in your diet to protect your gut health and drink plenty of water, exercise regularly, stay away from stress and improve your sleep quality. Stay healthy. If you like our video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm also open to your comments. About to be together in our next video. Bye.